Yeah. Dave that is here. good. I want to pump you up. <laughs> this is Dave Carr with Extreme Metal Dreams website. I'm here at Studio 7 in Seattle, Washington with none other than Lenny and Worrell of Sanctuary. I want to pump you up. <laughs> so, it's been over 20 years since Sanctuary's put something out. This album is perfect progression of the first two that you guys have had with Refuge Denied and Into the Mirror. What made you guys bring back Sanctuary? Well, we needed lunch money. <laughs> um, that's all we got. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you know, it was just kind of a, it was something we always, we always talked about. Um, sort of, mo mo mostly in, in joking. And, um, you know, eventually we, we started hanging out a little bit and, and talking a little bit more and we, uh, we got an offer for one of our songs to be in a video game called Brutal Legend. And that kind of started the ball rolling a little bit. Um, we started talking about, you know, uh, getting together and um, playing some shows. And then next thing you know, we started uh, squeezing out some songs. So. <laughs> That's not the only thing we squeezed out. <laughs> so what are some of the inspirations on, I mean, for the lyrics? on this album because some of them are pretty in depth well it's a concept record kind of loose loose concept record um i don't know where the inspiration came from it's probably from watching too many horror movies and playing too many video games video games make me do bad things so what are some of the video games that you guys like to play i'm not really a video game guy that would probably be him but uh I mean, I haven't played video games for a while. But, yeah. So in other words, you're like me. My nephews and all my kids can play the hell out of it. Me, I just, I get bored with them. Yeah, I had one of those, like, <laughs> uh, combat ones. It was really cool. It was really fun, but I found that I spent all my time playing the game. And I mean, I, seven hours would disappear, and I was just like, oh, God. You know what? Sometimes you just have to go back, and you got to play Super Mario. Do, do the now that there, I can handle the play. school shit. Yeah. Old school Nintendo rules. Sure. Or Donkey Kong, you know? I mean, they're, they're, they're by today's standards, those games are retarded now, kind of. I'll tell you what. I love still, watching my kids try to play on. Pong. Pants on, pants on. <laughs> Johnny. Hey, uh, tomorrow I'm going to run lights for you guys, and I've got these little uh, lights in the front of the stage that are up. Those Johnny smokes you're hearing in the background. But sometimes they get. You hey, know, we're trying to do a fucking interview here, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> Do you want uplighting, or will it will it get in your eyes? Does it bother you? Uh, oh, I like the uplighting you because it takes away your it just eye bags. Depends oh. on, how, on what you're talking about, because I, know I, I can make them dim. I can shine them more at your guitar than your face. So that would be great. Okay, Ooh. back to the interview. Thank okay. you, ladies and gentlemen. See you later, Johnny Smokes. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll do one before the night's All right, sexy interview later. <laughs> Pants off. And no, we will not be cutting that out because this is all true Seattle. This is a lineup tonight that features nothing but local talent and sanctuaries blessing everybody with the stage. So we, we love me we love us some Johnny though. Yeah the people now for people that want to check him out that's the name of one of his bands, Johnny Smokes. Now let's get back to some more sanctuary business. Okay you guys <laughs> I love world. Yeah, so you guys leave here, you go to Canada, and then Portland, and then you head on down to... Well, if we get into Canada. We're going to try. We're going to try to get issues. In. But there's always... A, dude, every time you go into Canada, there's always an issue. There's always somebody on whatever tour you're on. Somebody that's got an issue. Because Canada is the only country in the world that charges admission if you've got a police record. <laughs> it doesn't... Oh, it's just... It's, it's frustrating. frustrating. It is frustrating, but you know, hey, you know they're they're you know making money, I guess. So, so but, but Canadian metal heads are some of the best in the world. They really, yeah, should, they it, really are. It'll be a great show if we can get. Yeah. There. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna get there. You're gonna get there. You're safe. It's just I the believe jump, in it. Jumping through the hoops thing that sure. sucks. We have to do the dance. So we gotta do a little dance, make a little love. Now another local uh, rock star that you guys have known for years. Um, I read his interview recently, 
He was talking about was it? Jeff Tate. Oh, I and don't you, know him. I've, I've never, never met him? I'm surprised. Oh, I met him once. He was weird. <laughs> he, uh, he didn't spit on me. He, <laughs> he actually uh, did a really good interview about the record labels today. <clears throat> and he was talking about how back in the early, mid, and late 80s, bands had to really bust their ass to get signed to a label. And he remembers the days of selling 100,000 albums with no issue around the world. Now labels seem to get excited at 5,000 to 10,000 or so. What is your guys' input on that? Do you really feel the internet has damaged it that much? Of or? course it has. Oh, the absolutely. internet, there's a whole new generation of kids that think music should be free. They don't understand that the people that are creating the music rely on income from being musicians to, to support themselves. And I, I don't know, it's just sad. I know te te really technology is the mark of the beast because, you know, it, it's, it's fucked. The well, it, it, I think eventually it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, it's going to cause great harm. I mean, I, I just don't think you're going to see very many bands. Like, you're not going to see that many huge bands anymore. It's, it's just going to start to fade away because... There isn't really going to be, I mean, as far as, like, massive sellers, you know, as far as, it just, it's not going to happen anymore. I mean, for, for now, it's like, if you can sell a million records, that's, that's a huge deal. I mean, if you can sell 100,000, that's a huge deal. See, that's but what I mean, you're not going to see U2s anymore, or the Stones, or <laughs> that type of magnitude anymore, because I just don't, I don't I mean, know. not even Judas Priest is doing it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I mean, we're talking bands that have been out there longer than any of us that we all grew up listening to, you know. <laughs> what, letting the hair down? <laughs> so, we didn't have our makeup artists come in before this. <laughs> That's why we look like cast members of The Walking Dead right now. <laughs> That's good shit there. Hell, Scotty, and, and speaking of Walking Dead, he just did a part on it. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. They turned him into one of the zombies. Huh. I was just watching the video and interview on it, and it's pretty cool. Cool. Couldn't even tell it was Scott. Wow. That's um, probably a good thing. <laughs> so what are the things that you guys are, goals that you're shooting for with Sanctuary in 2015? World domination. What he said. <laughs> well, I know you guys got some other stuff that you want to get done before you got to hit stage. I'm not sure if we, well, we definitely have goals, but, you know, whether they're realistic or not, I'm not sure. We just want to tour as much as we can, make as much music as we can, and hopefully make, you know, the old school fans happy. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely want to spread the word, get the music out there, play in front of as many people as we can. Um, we'll be doing a West Coast Testify, tour. Testify, brother! Yes! <laughs> we'll be doing a West Coast tour, and we're uh, doing a tour in Europe with Overkill, which we're looking forward to. So, yeah. His favorite band. Really? Oh, yeah, okay, I know. We're touring with Overkill in, in Europe in March. So. so what's it like having... I know that you guys... Previously, have had Brad Hall from Forced Entry yeah. go in and out, help fill in with you guys before on Sanctuary. But what's it like to actually have him in the band? And that, it's a train know? wreck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's it's, an, it's an experience. Yeah, yeah he's a character. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a definite he's, character, but we love him to death. So there he's added a, a, a really cool element to the whole vibe. You know, the the, the way he plays guitar and everything. It's been. It's, uh, it's, he compliments the sound, that's for sure. So. so what's it like for you, Lenny, to be personally playing with him do, and write with him and do anything? It, it, you know, he inspires me a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things he does that he plays, he plays things differently than I would, and that's one of the reasons why I really wanted him in the band because, you know, I didn't want somebody just like me. I want somebody that can, you know, go into other areas of, um, you know, just different sounds, different types of scales. He has more of an exotic way of playing and, and um, I think it really, uh, it's, it, it makes, it just gives us a broader stroke, you know? Cool. Well, 
I'm going to get this interview done and over with so these guys can get ready. Once again, this is Warl. Just so you know, we Jim. don't look like this on stage. Or real life. <laughs> no, this, this, actually, this is true makeup right here. Uh, no, this is real life. But I've got all my sexy shit in that bag right there, and I'm going to put it on later, and I'm going to look like a damn cool dude on stage, and so is this guy. But are any of you going to be able to outdo Brad in that blonde hair of his oh flipping God. everywhere? He's, <laughs> he's toned it down a little bit. He's like, uh, he's almost a brunette now. <laughs> so he's smarter. <laughs> Is that possible? Oh, shit. I'm going to have to text Brad and ask him if that's possible. All right, once again, this is Jim Shepard. No. And World Dane. No. From Never. No, no, that's not Jim. Not Jim, I mean Lenny Rutledge. See, now they got me all fucked Where's up. Where's Jim at? You got confused with the blonde brunette thing right there. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, you should have been in here. Damn it, Jim. Okay. So, okay, now you're going into the Star Trek mode. I don't know, buddy. Uh, I love it. Never a dull moment with the guys from Sanctuary. <laughs> Once again, peace out.